नमस्ते एवरी वन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टू अमेजिंग क्वेश्चन ऑफ सिंप्लीफिकेशन हैविंग कॉमन आंसर सो बिफोर आई स्टार्ट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल हेव द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज होल स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सिक्स प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सिक्स प्लस होल स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सिक्स प्लस एंड सो ऑन इक्वल्स टू एक्स एंड दिस पैटर्न इज एन एंडलेस पैटर्न Now let me show you some magic. If I will leave the first part, see the remaining part. It will be square root of six plus whole square root of six again plus and so on. And you can see the pattern is same again, which was equal to x. so let us replace the value of the second part in the first one and the first one will become whole square root of 6 plus x equals to x now we have to remove the square root so what we can do we have to square both sides by squaring both sides what we got square root of 6 plus x whole square will be equals to x square we are squaring both sides so both sides there will be whole square now square root of 6 plus x whole square will be equals to 6 plus x and in right side we have x square now let us simplify it take 6 plus x to the right side and the equation will become 0 equals to x square as it is minus x minus 6 now let us exchange the sides and our equation will be x square minus x minus 6 equals to 0 now let us factorize it and here to factorize it i'm going to use splitting middle term method so we know that the product is minus 6 and the parts of middle term will be minus 3x plus 2x because minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 and 3 to the 6 and minus 6 as it is equals to 0 so now in the first pair x is common Take it common. Inside there will be x minus three. In second pair, two is common. Inside there will be x minus three. You know the factorization process. You have done in eighth, ninth, and tenth all three classes. Now see here x minus three is common. Take it common. Inside we have x plus two. So x minus three is taken common. Inside there will be x plus two equals to zero are the factors of the above equation. Now the product of two factors equals to zero. Therefore, either x minus three equals to zero or x plus 2 equals to 0 and from here we got two values of x one is either x equals to 3 and second one is or x equals to minus 2 which is your required solution
Now let us see the second amazing problem which is x equals to 1 plus 6 whole upon 1 plus 6 whole upon 1 plus 6 whole upon and so on. You can see this is also an endless process but if I will leave the first part the remaining part will be same as x again. So let us replace it therefore x will be equals to 1 plus 6 upon x. Now let us simplify it. Take LCM in the right hand side. 1 upon 1 is there. So the LCM of x and 1 will be x. x 1 ja x plus 6 whole upon x. Now cross multiply. x multiply by x will be x square equals to 1 multiplied by x plus 6 will be x plus 6 as it is. Now you see we got the same equation again. Bring x plus 6 to the left side and the equation will be x square minus x minus 6 equals to 0. You see the equation is same like previous equation. So let us factorize it now. Again I am using the same method. So the equation will be by separating middle term it is x square minus 3x plus 2x minus 6 equals to 0. Take x common in the first pair inside will be x minus 3 take 2 common in the second pair inside there will be x minus 3 take x minus 3 as common and at the place of first term only x is left and in second term only 2 is left which are your required factors now from here we got that if the product of two factors equal to 0 then either x minus 3 equals to 0 or x plus 2 equals to 0. Take 3 to the right side x will be equals to 3 and the second value of x will be minus 2 which is your required solution. Thank you and keep smiling.